Um, but I wanted to definitely introduce um, Robin Bansky. Robin has worked so closely with me to create the CNA program that you all will be enrolling in. We are state accredited and approved, and we do do the state DNA testing as well. So Robin, thank you for joining this journey. I'm gonna hand the floor over to you. Thank you. So you're probably wondering what a CNA is. So a CNA stands for a certified nursing assistant. So basically a certified nursing assistant works under the supervision of a licensed nurse um, in the state of Maryland. So, uh, so certified nursing assistants, a, a day in the life of that, what you're gonna be doing, you're going to be assisting residents or patients um, with activities of daily living. So that's bathing, that's dressing, uh, grooming, eating, um, transferring, um, toileting, all those kinds of things. You're also going to be uh, responsible for obtaining vital signs, which is like temperature, pulse, respiration, blood pressure. Um, and you would also be um, responsible for tracking the intake and the output um, of your resident. So where can you work um, as a CNA? Well, in the state of Maryland, with just the CNA um, certification, you can work in um, any hospital. Uh, you can work in any assisted living. Um, you can work in home health. You can work in hospice. Now, if you wanted to work in long-term care, which is considered um, the nursing homes, you have to sit for the state exam of the geriatric nursing assistant. Once you pass that, you are able to work in long-term care, so nursing homes, um, rehabilitation centers, um, as well as sub-acute um, facilities, but you have to have that GNA in order um, to work in those facilities. So it's kind of, with the CNA GNA, you kind of get two um, certificates or, or two um, titles in one if you take the um, state examination. So basically you're gonna be working long, hard hours. Um, you're gonna work day, you can work days, you can work evenings, you can work night shift. Um, you're gonna be required to work holidays, not all holidays, but some holidays. And you're um, also going to have to work weekends, not every weekend, but usually like every other weekend. Um, so what are the traits? What does it take to be a CNA? Well, you have to be dependable. Um, they are expecting you to show up the day that you're scheduled to work, be there um, to take care of those patients. Those patients are expecting you to be there because they need your assistance. Um, you need to have a desire to help others. So you need to have compassion. You have to have empathy. Um, you need to have strong communication skills. Um, you could, because you're going to not only be speaking with your patients, but you're also going to have to communicate with your nurses, doctors, um, you know, managers, people like that. Um, you also have to have um, the attention to detail. Um, you have to be very, um, pay attention to all the minor details. Um, so you need to be detail oriented. You have to have physical stamina. You're going to be standing. You're going to be walking. You're going to be kneeling, um, stooping, lifting, pulling. Um, so you're going to have to be able to do all of that. And you're going to be working eight to 12 hours at a time. So you're going to have to have the physical stamina to be able to do that. You also have to be flexible. Every day is different. You walk into your facility, every day is going to be different. There's never going to be the, the same thing every day. Um, so you have to be flexible and be willing to um, if your coworker calls in and you might have to pick up a couple extra residents. Um, so you have to be flexible. You have to have a can-do attitude. You also have to be able to critically think and you also have to be a team player because you are part of a healthcare team. You are the nursing assistant, you'll have the nurse, you'll have the doctors, the, um, you'll have dietitians, so you're part of the healthcare team, so you have to be a team player. So talking about our um, program and what you will learn in our um, program here, 
Um, we do didactic or um, in-classroom um, lecture. Um, and then part of the class is lecture. And then the other part of the class is actually doing skills. So you're gonna be practicing, there's 20, at least 23 skills, that's the minimum, but we actually do more than that, that you will be learning um, in order to be able to take care of the patients. Um, so you're, and these are practiced on each other or they're practiced on mannequins. Um, so things such as bathing, um, we do a modified bed bath um, and we do that on each other. That's just washing the face, washing the arm, um, and the armpit. Um, so we do bathing. We also do dressing where we help each other um, get their shirt on. Um, we do feeding where we assist um, a resident or a client with feeding. Um, so we feed each other. Um, we also assist with using a bedpan and with toileting. Um, we also do transfers. So transferring from the bed to the wheelchair or assisting with ambulation. Um, and you will also be doing um, mouth care and also um, vital signs. You'll be practicing vital signs. So you'll, you'll learn how to take a temperature, how to take a pulse, how to take a respiration and a blood pressure. As far as the lecture part, it, things that you're going to learn for the lecture, anatomy and physiology, the very basics is what uh, one of the, the topics that you'll be learning. You'll be learning about nutrition. Infection control. Infection control is important no matter what field that you go into for the healthcare. Um, you're going to do vital signs, skills, and measurements. So you do need to have some basic math skills, um, which is just basically being able to read a scale, um, be able to add and subtract. So nothing extravagant, but you do, there are some basic math skills. Medical terminology. You will be learning medical terminology um, from the very beginning. So um, you're going to learn about uh, communication, teamwork, cultural diversity, residents' rights, um, mental health, and the legal aspects of healthcare, such as data collection, um, documentation, reporting um, suspected abuse. So we'll be learning about um, how to um, determine abuse, whether it's elderly or um, of child abuse. And then ultimately we'll be talking about confidentiality because that's very important in the healthcare field. So in the classroom, um, our expectations are um, you're gonna be reading a lot, you're going to be studying a lot. Um, there's eight quizzes to pass and you have to pass the quizzes with a 75%. There's two um, final exams. You have to pass those with a 75%. Then we do what we call five and 30. That's you perform five skills in 30 minutes. Um, so you have to be able to pass that. Once you've passed your exams and you've passed your um, skills, then we will, um, then you go into clinical. And then once you pa uh, pass clinical, um, then you pass the class and you are a um, nursing assistant and then you apply for your, um, you apply for your you apply for your certification through the state of Maryland, which is the Board of Nursing. All right, so I would like to do just show you like one of the skills um, that you would be um, practicing and learning how to do. So I'm going to have my student come in. I'm going to have you just sit there on the edge of the bed. Hi, Barry. My name is Robin. I'm going to be your nursing assistant today. And I'm just going to get you out of bed and transfer you to the wheelchair. Okay. All right. I'm going to make sure that you have shoes on and your feet are flat on the floor. I'm going to check to make sure that the bed is locked, which it is, the wheels. I'm going to set my wheelchair up. My chair is locked. The wheels are locked. And my footrests are out of the way. And I have it close to the bed. I'm going to put my gate belt on. All right. Okay, Fallon. So on the count of three, um, I want you to stand up and you can use your hands to push off on the bed. Um, I'm just going to be toe to toe, knee to knee. Okay, ready? One, two, three. And just stand straight up. All right, let's just pivot around. Okay, and go until you feel the back of the wheelchair. And then go ahead and sit down. Okay, 
And I'm gonna get your feet up here on your foot rest. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove your gait belt. Okay. So that's transferring from bed to wheelchair. That's just one of the many skills that you'll learn.